Hey everyone, this is Anna, and today's article from NailCareHQ.com is called Does Nail Oil Penetrate the Nail Plate? This is an article that I wrote about four years ago, and let's see, it's 2017 right now, uh, the end of it, and so anyway, so let me just jump right into this. I ended up writing it as a letter. My dearest readers and fans, it has come to my attention that there is a little bit of confusion around the internet about whether oil actually does enter, t enter the nail plate. The short answer is, it depends on how you define oil. Now here's the long answer. With information from respected scientist and author of Nail Structure and Product Chemistry, Doug Schoon, my mom, who I call Mrs. Chemist, has been telling me for months that this day would come, I would be forced to teach what jojoba really is. So what is jojoba? Jojoba is not an oil. It's actually a wax ester that is, a, that is liquid at warm temperature, so it looks like an oily substance. But under the microscope, it is most certainly not an oil. So I'm including a couple of photographs here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Your body oil, called sebum, is a wax ester. The molecular structure of jojoba is almost identical to sebum. All other oils look, feel, and behave differently than jojoba. Please realize that in every topic in this world, experts disagree, and that's okay. That's what keeps the world interesting. Just think of parenting experts. They disagree all over the place. My goal is to teach my readers how to think. I do the research. I walk you through my thinking process. If it makes sense, great. Use the information to improve your life. An unexpected email. Doug Shoon emailed me after spending some time on NailCareHQ.com when I asked for permission to reprint some of his articles on my site. And here's what he wrote. Hi, Anna. Wow, pretty impressive job based on what I've seen so far. I'll check out more later. I love the fact that you are, quote, a regular mom who did her research. That shows that others can do it too. They try if they try and they know how. If you haven't already, you may want to consider teaching people how to do research properly. Few people seem to understand the process, and many get sucked into sites that manipulate them with silly, fear-based nonsense while asking for donations. Doug. I stumbled into studying jojoba because it worked so well for me. And, of course, geeky me, I just had to know why. I've spent months researching jojoba and analyzing everything else, and I've been doing that with Mrs. Chemist. I had to understand why Bliss Kiss Simply Pure has worked better than anything else. Simply Pure does not nourish the nail plate from the top down to the nail bed. Your body hydrates the nail plate from the bottom up. Simply Pure creates a surface barrier in the top layers of keratin is producing in the nail plate. Now I have learned over the next four years as I'm writing or reading this to you now that actually the oil does penetrate farther into the nail plate than I had thought. The nail plate does absorb. In Doug Shun's book, Nail Structure and Product Chemistry, he has an entire section in one of his chapters addressing how water and oils do penetrate the nail plate. You can find those on page 36 and 37 if you have his book. This is the last paragraph that he has. Quote, oils will also be absorbed into the nail plate to plasticize it, but more slowly than water. Just as oils are absorbed more slowly into the nail plate, it's also more difficult for the oils to escape. Therefore, oils stay in the plate for a very long time and can exert a dramatic long-term influence on the durability of the natural nail plate. We know that water and sebum can travel up through the nail plate and water can travel down through the nail plate. So, it makes sense to me that sebum, or another wax ester, can travel down, at least through several layers. Does the jojoba go down through all approximately 50 layers that you have? Probably not. I don't even know if electron microscopes could capture the jojoba wax ester being absorbed by the nail plate. 
Empirical research. What I and my customers who take the Let's Get Naked challenge are doing is called empirical research. And I got this from Wikipedia. Empirical research is a way of gaining knowledge by means of direct and indirect observation or experience. Empirical evidence, which is the, rec the record of one's direct observations or experiences, can be analyzed quantitatively and qualitatively. Through quantifying the evidence or making sense of it in a qualitative form, a researcher can answer empirical questions, which should be clearly defined and answerable with the evidence collected, usually called data. Research design varies by field and by the question being investigated. Many researchers combine qualitative and quantitative forms of analysis to better answer questions which cannot be studied in laboratory settings, particularly in the social sciences and in education. So again, I got that from wikipedia.com. And um, it, yeah, a lot of big words, but there we go. So, um, so let me move on. With empirical research, it doesn't really matter why or how Simply Pure Nail Oil works. It can't be disproven. Customer after customer continues to tell and show me how Simply Pure changes the strength and flexibility of their natural nails. The reason Simply Pure works so well is because it has the highest concentration of jojoba wax ester than any other cuticle oil on the market. This is why I've labeled it Simply Pure as a nail oil not just a cuticle oil. I have some other examples of customers' results using our Simply Pure, and we will link those in the comment area below. This is Anna signing off, and I'll catch you next time. Hey, it's Anna. I've written over 70 nail care articles that you can find at nailcarehq.com. And if you're looking for products that will help you have longer, stronger nails, visit myblisskiss.com. Be sure to push the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get alerted when I publish more videos. This is Anna, signing off and sending you bliss.